This week on Launch, gather e-signatures straight from QuickBooks Online. We're talking through the highest impact ways to advertise and a murder mystery adventure for your accounting firm. There has been a murder and you are a suspect. Okay, hang on just a sec. Let me settle in and I'll be right back. Very good. Whoa, this is gonna be a fun one. Come on in and get some launch. Practice Management Tool Canopy has a new $11 million round of funding. This is their ninth funding round and they've raised a total of $112 million to date. $112 million. Let's just put that into perspective. Take these glasses here. If these glasses were a dollar and you put these glasses side by side, they would stretch from where I am in Oregon clear to Tokyo, Japan, back to Oregon, and over to Maxwell, Nebraska. Either way, good on you, Canopy, for making it happen. So what are they gonna do with the money? In an interview with Accounting Today, Canopy CEO and surname enthusiast Davis Bell said they'd be using the money to double down on refining the existing product. It sounds like they're moving up market to the 11 to 50 employee firm size and making the product more robust for those larger firms. Now, if you aren't familiar with Canopy, they're among the OG cloud-based practice management offerings. They've got project management, time and billing, client portal, all the goodies you'd expect, but they've also had a really unique tax resolution offering as well. Basically, a tool that navigates you through best practices for responding to different types of notices. Now, if you recall, back in 2019, Canopy launched their own tax prep software. It was huge news because, well, Let's be real, tax software is shit. While they did release the product in beta, they ended up having to pull the plug toward the end of the year. The CEO confirmed in their interview with Accounting Today that they aren't yet diving back into the tax prep tool, but it is something that's still on their radar. Please. So congrats to Canopy on the new raise. Learn more about this one over at canopytax.com. Viral Loops, a company that makes infectious breakfast cereal. What's that? A company that makes referral marketing software just launched a newsletter referral utility. Pop quiz time. What is the best way to promote your accounting firm? Nope. Mm, no. Correct answer, your email list. I know, super boring answer, but think about this. What is a client more likely to do. Make a referral to an accounting firm or share an email with something helpful in it. B, two. Correct answer is the second one. And I'm not talking any old email list, not just a mass export of every client email in your business. A list for the type of clients you work with, a list for your taxidermists, a list for professional sign spinners, for arm wrestlers, whatever your niche is. Tailor your boilerplate content a bit to speak to that group and they're gonna eat it up. Much better than boiler content that goes out to your entire client base. Uh, what was I talking about before? Viral loops. Now, how do you use a tool like this to take your email newsletter game to the next level? You build your own partner program. Track referrals within your newsletter and offer exclusive perks for your champions, the clients referring new people your way. A newsletter referral system is a really easy way to do this. It's a low risk way for your clients to share your content with their peers. And from a technical standpoint, it's super easy for you. Viral Loops will connect with virtually any email marketing platform. It lets you manage these referrals across multiple different newsletters, if you've got several niches, and you can build out totally automated rewards and giveaways. Build out an entire loyalty program to incentivize sharing with your peers. Viral Loops specifically, this one starts out at $34 a month. Check it out at viral-loops.com. Big news here from our fearless accounting leaders. For the first time, e-signatures are built into QBO. It's a partnership with DocuSign to let you send out quotes and collect signatures, which seems pretty smart to me. We learned about this one from a recent blog post and they've even put out a YouTube video to walk you through setup. Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. The DocuSign mm, you wish. signature connector. Basically you connect your DocuSign to QBO, you log in with your DocuSign account, and then when it comes time to send an estimate, you're gonna have a save and send with DocuSign option now. Simple as that, kind of. I'm a little concerned about this bit. 
Once the customer approves and signs the estimate, its status automatically updates in DocuSign. In QuickBooks, you can monitor the progress of estimates from Manage in DocuSign. Select the link to see the estimate in DocuSign, where you can check on its approval status. I don't want to check the status in DocuSign. I want to check status in QBO. I think that means it doesn't actually update QBO when it's signed. That's all right. Work in progress. Let's check out what the early feedback looks like on the QuickBooks app review. Ooh. No one but an admin can use it. Need admin access level. Missing important docs. Hope you like nachos. What does that? Okay, so definitely a work in progress. I do like the idea of being able to push out e-signatures from the accounting software, but see if you notice. And send with DocuSign. Did you hear it? And send with DocuSign. One more time. And send with DocuSign. The button doesn't say send for e-signature. It says send with DocuSign. And you don't get your brand name in QuickBooks UI just for being a swell e-signature solution. Now, what would be better? How about the button says send for e-signature and let me connect my own e-signature provider. Just like you could bring your own payment processor for invoices or your own payment issuer for accounts payable. Oh, they don't. So you can't. So to take this one for a spin, grab that DocuSign account and head over to the QuickBooks App Store. Let's be real. Accountants are not naturally drawn to culture building. Hey. Sometimes you have to manufacture the fun. So check this one out. A murder mystery game called You Done It. And it actually works either over Zoom or in person. Basically, you answer some prompts. Where's my plant? be back. Okay. Okay. Real funny, guys. You did this, right? Basically, you answer some prompts to customize your murder mystery game for you and your team. It takes less than 15 minutes to set up, and everyone can play on their phone or via physical, like, paper printouts. Seems like a great way to try to build some culture... There's a version for groups of six to 10 players, and they've got a version in the works for larger groups of 12 plus players. This one's got a little more polish than the other games I've seen like this recently. Right now you're gonna pay 15 bucks for the six to 10 player version. Check this one out over at u-doneit.com. Okay, but really, where did the plant go? I gotta shoot the rest of this. The plant doesn't just go running off on its own. Ever recorded a thing in a video to show someone how to do something? Me too. Turns out transitioning to virtual work means a lot of giving directions to people on how and where to click on stuff. Previously, launch. Hey Steve, this is a good time to show you that uh, QuickBooks oh. thing. Yep. Yep. Up, yep. up a little more. Warmer. Warmer. Okay, there you go, yep. Click right. Oh. Well, here's a little tool that I think will actually make some of your explainers a little bit better. It's called Show Keys. What do show keys do? Okay. It's a nifty little Chrome extension that shows an image of any keys you click in the corner of your browser window. So if you're walking somebody through a tool using keyboard shortcuts, especially stuff like that, it's gonna be much easier to follow. Like BlurWeb, which is an extension we talked about last week, this is one I'm probably gonna leave just disabled in Chrome, then flip it on when I'm gonna record something. This one is free. Check out the link to the extension in the video description below. Do you enjoy being inundated with a completely unrealistic volume of technology? Of course you do. You're watching launch, right? Well, I've got bad news. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. The rate at which new software is rolling out is just gonna keep increasing, making discovery harder by the day. Whatever will we do? Well, here's one tool that can help. G2 just received a fresh round of funding 
and it's my favorite place to benchmark mature SaaS apps against each other. Here at Launch, we talk about new tech, but what if you need a library of what's already out there and wanna see what people are using? They have categories for every type of software imaginable. Check this out. Wow, lots of categories, right? But wait, there's more. Every single one of these has a load of subcategories. And it's a handy way to quickly take stock of the leading tools in a space. Seems neat, but can you trust it? Let's put it to the test. Best accounting software. I'll be the judge of that. What do we got here? QuickBooks Online, first one, four out of five. QuickBooks Desktop, 4.3 out of five. Hot take, G2. Sage Intact, NetSuite. What? Desktop Enterprise, FreshBooks Blackline, zero, 4.3 out of five. What was QBO? Ooh, another hot take G2. Akuna Matata, QBO Advanced, 4.5 out of five. Who's happy to have to upgrade to QBO Advanced? Passes the sniff test for me. Congrats to G2 on the raise. Check this one out over at g2.com. Thanks for coming by, like and subscribe.